Right, we start in Polk County where a 19 year old is in jail at this hour on first degree murder charges busted after the sheriff says he made a rap about it. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Courtney Robinson and I'm Josh Sidor, which investigators say it took months. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin reports, they say they can finally tie him to the killing. He was on juvenile probation, even though he was 19 years old. He previously had seven felony arrests. Five misdemeanor arrest. Sheriff Grady Judd is talking about Ladarian Chandler. He had been released from jail for 32 days before investigators say he shot and killed someone in Lakeland. This represents a very violent, dangerous group, small group of gangsters that are shooting at each other and they're young. So look at this kid. He's 19. He's going to prison for the rest of his life. Judd says this shooting back on December 17th began with a fight in the street. The victim was shot in the back. Something unusual happened here today. Sheriff Grady Judd shared the name of the victim involved in this shooting. Now these victims are protected under Marcy's law, but as Judd explained, the mother of that victim wanted to make sure what happened to her son doesn't happen to anyone else. 33 year old John McGee died 24 days later in the hospital from his injuries. Like the suspect, Sheriff Judd says McGee was also a known gang member. I want you to understand that he was released from prison on October the 8th, where he did four or five years. He's a troublemaker, make no mistake about it, but he shouldn't have died. Judd says if you're involved in gang activity, it can lead to a lifelong sentence. In Polk County, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Sheriff Judd says the detectives pointed to rap videos where Chandler brags about shooting and they're using that as evidence. A $5,000 Crime Stopper reward is being offered for information about the gun used in this homicide.